Friends and family members gather to remember the life of a man killed when his car was hit by a train. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones joins us in the studio. And Jeremy, you spoke with those closest to him, and they are actually pushing for more safety measures as railroad crossings actually didn't have the arms there. That's right, Shimani. Let's family, James Let's family came together to hold a balloon release in his honor, but to also push for the red and white safety arms to be there at the railroad crossing. Good. Family and friends releasing purple and gold balloons to remember the life of 29 year old James Led. He touched so many individuals lives. He did not meet a stranger and from the outpouring of the love that you see here, it clearly shows how much the community loves him and his family. Let was killed when a train hit his car on the Forest Hill Drive Railroad crossing on May 27th. He was an upcoming hip hop artist hoping his music could inspire others. He really meant a lot. Somebody want to go in the studio and I'm taking. A lot of people is going to miss him. We're going to miss him in his music, listen to his songs. Come on with the come on, get down with the get down. We're going to miss that. You no, know, we did a lot, you know. It's just hard on me, I don't miss him. You know what I mean? Like, I really don't know how to really explain it, man, because family, we go so far back like, as kids, you know what I mean? He's just one of those people you don't meet every day. Like, when you meet somebody like that, you, you take, that's, that should be a, a blessing that you make a person with that character. Although it's not truly goodbye because he will forever live in our hearts, and he has made an indelible impact upon this community that will not be silenced. The crossing doesn't have the red and white arms to indicate when a train is coming. His family believes the arms could have saved his life. We need to put them things down and let people know, hey, I don't care if the intersection is busy. Put them down, man. Prevent this from happening. Yeah, I don't know where he was going or what the rush was, but he's safe when it comes to those train crossing. Like, just wait those extra few minutes. Yes. I really, I would have rather him been late for it and get fired than this. Let's family plans to lay him to rest next Saturday. Reporting in studio, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.